guys, how's it going? It is Eva, and today we are going to be checking out the new engineering complexes that are coming at the next EVE Online expansion, Ascension. So first up, we have the Raitaru. It is the smallest of the three engineering complexes, coming in at a medium size. It has the capabilities of docking, subcapital ships, and freighters. So the stats of the Raitaru are basically as follows. It has a combined total of 14,400,000 effective hit points. All resists at 20% for shield, armor, and hull. Its capacitor capacity of 100,000 gigajoules. Capacitor recharge time of 3,600 seconds or one hour. Maximum targeting range of 350 kilometers. Max lock targets of 8. It has three service slots, a power grid output of 1.2 million megawatts, one low slot, two medium slots, and three high slots, one of which is dedicated to its solo hardpoint, meaning that this complex is not the best when it comes to defending itself as it also lacks the ability to launch fighters compared to the other engineering complexes. A CPU output of 15,000 teraflops, a weekly vulnerability of 9 hours. Like stated before, it only has its one launcher hardpoint. Maximum tethering range of 10 kilometers and its rig size being a medium. Next up on our list, we have the Asbel. This is the large complex of the group. This complex allows the docking of capital ships and below. The Asbel can also build capital ships in its manufacturing shipyard service module. So the stats for the Asbel are as follows. It has a combined total of 43,200,000 effective hit points. All resists at 20% for shield, armor, and hull has a capacitor capacity of 200,000 gigajoules, has a capacitor recharge time of 7,200 seconds or 2 hours, it has a power grid of 2.5 million megawatts, a CPU output of 30,000 teraflops, it has 8 max locked targets, and a targeting range of 350 kilometers, it has a fighter hangar capacity of 100,000 meters cubed, fighter launch tubes of 3, light fighter squadron limit of 2, and a support fighter squadron limit of 3. It has 5 service slots, 2 low slots, 3 medium slots, and 4 high slots, 2 of which are dedicated to its launcher hardpoints. It has a weekly, weekly vulnerability of 14 hours, a maximum target uh, tethering range of 10 kilometers, and a rig size of large. The final and the largest engineering complex is the Sodio. This complex allows for the construction of super capital class ships and below. It also provides docking for capital sized ships and below. So for the base stats of the Sodio are that it has a combined total of 216 million effective hit points, all resists at 20% for shield, armor, and hull. It has a capacitor capacity of 400,000 gigajoules, a capacitor recharge time of 14,400 seconds or 4 hours. It has a power grid of 4 million uh, megawatts, a CPU output of 50,000 teraflops, it has 8 max locked targets, and a targeting range of 350 kilometers. It has a fighter hangar capacity of 100,000 meters cubed, fighter squadron launch tubes of 5, light fighter squadron limit of 5, and support squadron limit of 3. It has a total of 6 service slots, 3 low slots, 4 medium slots, and 6 high slots, 3 of which are dedicated for its 3 launcher hardpoints. It has a weekly vulnerability of 1 day and 4 hours. Its maximum uh, tethering range of 10 kilometers and a rig size of extra large.
When it comes to fitting the engineering complexes, all of them are fitted exactly the same way as a citadel is currently fit. You need to buy the fitting off the market, construct it, and you just drag and drop just like you would fitting a normal ship or a citadel for that matter. Uh, if you have services in your engineering complexes, just like citadels, they do require fuel blocks. It doesn't matter what kind of fuel blocks to online and to be active per cycle. And uh, that's basically really it. The engineering complexes are anchored also exactly the same way as you anchor a citadel. So uh, I believe I am not going to be making a vid video on how to fit and anchor a engineering complex. I may do it, but right now I'm not f fully sure as they basically are identical to the citadels. The only difference is that they are meant for in industry rather than a station hub. So that is it for this video guys. Hope the engineering complexes come in handy and fly dangerous. Peace.